Be proud, Ethan Ross. Remember to stand tall and be proud of who you are and don't let them take away your courage. You are strong and very brave. Keep being you, kid. Remember, speaking up doesn't always make life easier, but easier and never change anything. Ethan's a young man uh, that reached out to me. My Nana Sue uh, wrote a letter to Raheem Sterling because I had racial abuse at my school. One of the ladies at the club that reads our fan mail said, I think this is a really touching subject and I feel you should have a look at it and I did. People used to shout racial abuse at me most days in school. You know, writing back to Ethan and of course with what everything that's gone on with me, I just thought it would be, you know, really nice to give him some word of encouragement and, and also help. Obviously in school, um, it was quite it was quite hard for me to deal with. I really wanted him to, you know, know that I've seen the message and I'm thinking of him and the situation that he's he's been in and someone that relates to him in that way and not only just me that's supporting him. <laughs> Growing up in London, I've never quite experienced any racism at all. And then going up north to Liverpool, those were the first time I'd come face to face with it. I didn't feel that that would uh, mentally affect me. You know, football's my passion. I'm not going to make someone or some other people ruin my dream. The Metropolitan Police here in London have said they're investigating claims of racial abuse towards Manchester City's Raheem Sterling during Saturday's Premier League match at Chelsea. There was racist abuse directed at England stars from the stands in Montenegro's capital, Podgorica, which has led to Manchester City star Raheem Sterling to call on football authorities to take a proper stance. Playing at Chelsea and just seeing the, the pure frustration, anger on people's faces and the abuse that I, I got there was, you know, definitely a, a point where looking at the fans that they made me realise that this is a lot more than just football. The best way I try to deal with it is not to get angry, is always try to, you know, let the football do the talking and then afterwards try to address it. Yeah, I figured what would be good is if, you know, the people in charge go to players who have been racially abused and, you know, ask for advice and help us to, to try and make a, a, a better change. Let me see if you got crossbar. He wasn't aiming for that, he was aiming for the crossbar. Oi! Never mind, I got my Jordans on. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> has to be the one. Has to be the one. <laughs> you said it, bro. <laughs> no. Did that go in or not? Oh, I thought it went over. No, 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 no. We don't put it over, put it in. You ain't scoring one. Oh, what a save. <laughs> Get that. You know, it's nice to, to be able to give him some words of encouragement and, you know, after what he's faced, so it's, it makes, makes me smile, makes me happy. My friends in school think it's a very inspirational letter. Other people who are having this can reflect on this. You know, there's young kids that, you know, look up to us and the much we can do to help and, you know, support them and, and show them that we're there for them as well. We know we can't reach out to everyone, but at the same time, you know, these little things do mean a lot to people. No, it's a real lovely gesture and hopefully you can, you know, in case anyone at the school or anywhere else is um, seeing anything, there's a lovely message on the wall. Since I have had that letter, I stand tall and I've developed to be who I am. My big saying is if I don't give back to my communities where I'm from and helping out there with the next generation, there's, there would have been no point of playing football really. So I'll always speak up when I, when I feel I need to, you know, be heard and not just sit there and, and make things fly by. I think the, the best thing you could do is um, to speak up and, and let people know your opinions because everyone's opinions matter.